This is an example of proximity effect. The microphone you are hearing is an AKG C12 VR condenser set bidirectional. I am standing approximately 6 feet from the mic. Now, as I walk toward the mic, you will hear not only an increase in level, but a significant rise in low frequency energy. Many vocalists rely on proximity effect to give their voices a deep, sexy, larger than life sound. Proximity effect is notable in that it does not affect omnidirectional polar patterns. I am once again standing 6 feet from an AKG C12 VR. For this example, the mic is set to Omni. As I walk closer to the mic, my voice gets louder, but it does not grow significantly bassier. This is an example of plosives and how proximity effect emphasizes B and P syllables. The microphone is an AKG C12 VR set cardioid. No pop filter is present. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, what's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Now, with a pop filter placed between the mic and myself, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, what's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Proximity effect can be troublesome when miking instruments as well, especially on sources that radiate unwanted low-frequency energy. In the following example, a Shure KSM-141 condenser is placed in front of the sound hole of an acoustic guitar. If you are monitoring on decent loudspeakers, you should notice exaggerated bass response. While the best solution to this problem might be to move the microphone away from, or at least off axis to the guitar sound hole, a microphone roll-off filter can achieve a similar result. This is the same guitar performance heard a moment ago, but captured with a second KSM-141 with this low-frequency roll-off filter engaged. The mic is positioned side-by-side -side with the other non-filtered 141. Changing the subject completely, the following examples demonstrate how pad usage can prevent internal microphone amplifier clipping. For the recordings, two identical Neumann U87 condenser microphones are placed close to a snare drum. In the first demonstration, listen to the distortion present in the snare hits. This is caused when voltage generated in the microphone diaphragm exceeds the limitations of the internal amplifier. In the second example, the same snare hits are heard through a different U87 with its internal 10dB pad engaged. With the level reduced between the diaphragm and internal amplifier, clipping no longer occurs. Note that for this demonstration, I have adjusted playback level so the two recordings are of similar monitoring loudness. Now, with 10dB pad engaged, well, that's it for this month. Professor Josh Smalls, Principles of Effective Recording Class at New England School of Communications, recorded all examples.